Hey guys, welcome to MD's Robotronics. Here you're seeing uh, in front of you is uh, three different products or I can say modules that I've been working on uh, quite some time for now. And uh, these modules are specifically for uh, robotics, robotic projects. And uh, yeah, I've started with the circuit design simulation and then the PCB design and I got my PCB uh, fabricated band uh, I also uh, mounted the components on the go to test if they're working fine so I could uh, mount I could complete one circuit board just to test out its complete functionality and also like several uh, sensors so that like I can finish one complete uh, robot and see like how uh, what's the performance of this particular uh, products so going for the first one and uh, the highlight of uh, this project is my robot controller board so there you see this is the robot controller M1 I've included a lot of features on this board and the design took a uh, lot, many, lot many hours for me to complete and uh, also get the components on place and then uh, test it out test it and work and get it working so I'll just give you quickly the features of this board okay before going to the features I'll tell you why exactly I uh, designed this board so from the time I started developing uh, robots I had to use uh, a lot of boards like I had to use a lot of multiple circuitry if I didn't want to start uh, the complete uh, circuit from scratch so what I used to do is use a uh, development board uh, like these probably this is an 8051 and uh, uh, AVR, C, AVR a board like this with an AVR microcontroller on it which I usually use uh, these kind of demo boards for uh, working on projects so I, I don't really need to spend time on uh, getting the microcontroller ready for uh, programming so after I have uh, one of these items what I would do is I used to have uh, uh, motor motor controller that's a motor driver circuit uh, which to show uh, I don't have one with me right now so used to use one external circuit to uh, connect my uh, motors to which would then drive uh, my motor so I would just show you uh, ugly little uh, robot that I had made earlier with uh, uh, there you see there's another PCB lying underneath so that would uh, drive the DC motors that I use uh, on the robot and apart from that I used to use uh, one more ugly looking uh, sensor board like this which uh, with uh, multiple sensors so what the challenge that I had was since I was using multiple circuitry all you see this is the this is the product of it so it looks ugly a lot of wires running up and down your microcontroller and uh, actually spoils the look and makes your robot more bulky so having one of these boards like this will simplify your uh, project and will you will, will save you a lot of time uh, trying to get things uh, rigged up and uh, tested or programmed and uh, and this module is also a pretty small one I'll show you the size comparison and uh, you'll really get to know uh, how this really is a tiny robot a tiny robot controller board so just going to the features of it uh, this board measures by uh, 6.5 centimeters that is uh, 2.5 inches uh, height wise and uh, 6.3 centimeter or that is 2.4 inches this way so the dimension of this board is uh, 6.5 by 6.3 centimeters 
So that's quite small for a board which has a multiple features. Though there's not the smallest one out there, uh, this is one amongst the smallest microcontroller board which is ready to uh, ready for your microcontroller robotic projects specifically. And uh, the second thing is this board uses an Atmega 8 uh, microcontroller which is an AVR series of microcontrollers. So folks out there you uh, already know a lot about uh, the AVR series of microcontrollers. So I need not go in depth with that. So, And uh, as you know to program this microcontroller you need an uh, interface called as an ISP interface. So you can program it using the ISP interface so there is already an ISP interface uh, built in it to so just connect uh, your uh, programmer to this particular uh, connection port here and then you can program your uh, microcontroller so that that's one way you can do and the second way and the easiest way and the cheapest way is to program your microcontroller <laughs> using the USB port down here so all that you need to do is uh, plug it plug your board uh, to your laptop or your PC using an USB interface which is connected to your board and you can program it so you don't need an external programming circuit uh, for this particular uh, robot controller board so that's a highlight that's another major thing it has an USB interface and you don't actually need a external programming device to program this particular board so going to the next feature of this board is uh, another highlight is it, it has an onboard motor driver circuit so that's an L29 CD IC that's interfaced on the board and it's ready to drive uh, two different motors at a time so you see there are two motor connections motor 1 and motor 2 so you can connect your uh, DC motors directly to these points and uh, you can drive uh, two DC motors at a time and also you can uh, drive one single stepper motor and also talking about another feature is that you all know that l 293 has an has two pins which is uh, enable pins apart from the inputs that you give to it so the enable pins are connected to the pwm outputs of this particular ic so you can use those pins and control them just the normal digital input and out digital output pins or you can set your timers to generate PWM signals at those particular points. So you can actually control your speed of the motors by controlling the enable pin of this particular device. So your board can drive two motors, two DC, DC motors at a particular time. And uh, going to the other feature is that uh, you can, if you are not driving any motors and if you're worried that uh, this particular IC drives some amount of current you can actually disable them here so one of these switches here turns on this particular device so you can turn it on or turn it off whether you are uh, whether you need to drive uh, the DC motors or not uh, using this particular switch down here so that's another uh, feature I would say and it has an 16 megahertz uh, crystal, external crystal so that's the maximum speed of this particular uh, IC it goes up it can go up to uh, 16 megahertz and uh, there's an external crystal oscillator so you so your uh, microcontroller operates at a very high speed and going to the other features is that it has an onboard voltage regulator so you just you need not worry about uh, your IC being burn up, burnt out by giving uh, external supply so you can just uh, simply connect your uh, battery source which would which is about uh, any voltage from 12 uh, to 6 volts and you can uh, easily operate this particular board so there's an on and off switch here and there's also a uh, polarity protection uh, uh, diode there so in case you accidentally connect your uh, battery using the wrong terminals you need not be worried about your uh, voltage regulator being fried out or your IC being fried so there's a voltage, there's a diode there which uh, protects it from that. And uh, the other feature is that this board can be powered from the external source here or the USB interface. So there's a jumper down here wherein you can switch between uh, the power supplies from the USB interface or uh, the external power supply, external source. And there's an on, there's also an onboard uh, reset switch, so uh, you need not worry about resetting your uh, device at any point of time. And uh, apart from that, we have uh, 
two extra uh, analog input pins which comes uh, exclusively in this uh, TQFP package of an Atmega 8 microcontroller so apart from the normal six uh, in analog inputs you can also have uh, two pins which uh, which only performs as an analog uh, input port not like not not as an analog in or uh, digital IO ports so that's an added advantage and also you I have uh, designed a connection point here wherein you can connect a port which uh, can set the external reference voltage for your uh, ADC uh, of your microcontroller and uh, we have uh, port D and port C uh, available at this uh, Part. so you can access uh, these two ports uh, within this uh, terminals here and uh, you can connect as many devices as uh, 14 uh, digital devices so like 14 inputs outputs 14 input outputs that we have here and uh, going to the next uh, pin is next feature is that it has a Bluetooth interface so you can directly interface a Bluetooth UART module for your uh, microcontroller so that it can communicate with uh, any device or you can send out uh, signals from your uh, from the Bluetooth uh, device on your phone to your uh, microcontroller so using this board on your robot you can send out signals through your phone which would uh, then control uh, the robot uh, so the Bluetooth models comes like somewhat like this which has a uh, a 5 volt a ground a receiver and a transmitter a, a UART module like this would go on place like that and your board is ready to communicate and uh, interact with other Bluetooth uh, devices around so that's another added advantage and uh, yes you can uh, there's also an, there's also a switch present here which on uh, putting it switching it turning it on will enable the USB uh, programming functionality on this board so switch this pin on and interface your device to your uh, PC and you should uh, see that your board is detected by uh, your PC and you can simply download the program so we'll see about how you can program this board in another video tutorial so I wanted to cover this particular board uh, which was a highlight of my project so I just start this was my commercial project that I've started hope uh, this module uh, earns me some money this is really a feature rich module which comes in a very small package so just for a size comparison I would like to place a USB pin so this is a USB plugin and you can see how small this is though so this is as small as uh, two USB connector pins and there you see the micro USB side of this particular board so this board is quite is uh, quite small for uh, any robot and uh, it saves you from uh, the connection issues that you have when you have wires running down from your microcontroller to uh, the motor driver or your DC motors or uh, whatever it is so this just saves your time and saves a lot of other stuff too and uh, that's about it guys so this this is what I wanted to show you on my video here uh, that's my highlight product so uh, robot controller m1 if you like this video and if you like this product please leave your comments down uh, in the comment section and if you would like to see some more features being added on this device also please mention them so that i can include them on the next version of my uh, robot controller board thank you guys thanks for watching